Hi, this is Guy with Bass Playing Mom, and this is Caleb, who plays all the instruments. Today we have his new amp. My I first thought. real guitar amp. Yeah, I thought I'd show it to you guys. Use this for bass too. I would not recommend that. It might blow up. We'll have to test it. Uh, please don't. <laughs> this is the Boss Katana 100, so it's a 100 watt amp. It's all solid state. Essentially, as far as I'm aware, basically it's a computer, a decent computer with decent uh, audio handling, and then a speaker that's good for guitar tones. And me, being a computer nerd, I bought it because it sounded decent out of the box, and I knew that me being a computer nerd, I would be able to create the exact sound I was looking for. And so on a sick day, I did just that. I spent six hours creating a perfect, clean, and clear tone. Now I just have been putting pedals in, and because it sounds great, uh, and I don't want to mess with it any more than that. This amp, basically, there are three different amps that I was looking for, or looking at, and I needed something that would be able to produce enough volume for practice, sound decent, like sound like a real amp not be super expensive because we're just right now the project we're working on it's just like a, a really a month or two now that we have to finish up you know we'll probably only be playing shows for like a month and recording very quickly we're just doing an ep so i didn't need anything too crazy i was going to save up about a thousand dollars for a multi-effects processor like the helix or the head rush but right now this was me with my discount and also you could probably get the same discount if you shop because this is the Boss Katana 100 and the Boss Katana 100 Make 2 is out now. So even in my store you could get a really good discount just as a regular customer because this guy was on clearance uh, for close to what I paid as a, a music employee. So I was looking at the Boss Katana 100, this guy. I was also looking at the GT 100. Also, both those things, they had direct out, decent headphone outputs, uh, a lot of different amp modeling options. Um, so that's why those two are what I was looking at. And I was also looking at the Lunchbox style Yamaha amps. They're practice amps, but the tone on them is amazing. They're also solid state, just like these, you know, basically just a computer with a, a computer with a good guitar speaker. But the tone on those guys was amazing. It was better than both the Boss Katana and the GT100, but it didn't have a great direct out, and it just simply was not loud enough for practice. And I knew, me being a computer nerd, I'd be able to get the sound I needed out of this guy. And so, just trying them with the songs that I know, the Boss Katana 100 blew the Fender Mustang GT100 out of the water. The sound of the GT100 was way more muddy, way more warbly, way too much low end. It was very not clear and crisp. This guy's very clear and crisp and you can, you know, boost up the bass to get a really good warm part of the sound. Yeah, this guy just blew the GT100 out of the water in terms of tone. So that's why I ended up going with it. Before I get into it, we were writing a lot of this stuff on my friend's box, like practice amp, yeah. but they have a tube in them and they have a much warmer tone naturally. So that's sort of what I was aiming for, was this way more like just natural, warm, clear and crisp tone, as opposed to just kind of what this is better for out of the box, which is a little more of a, it says katana and it's a sharper tone out of the box. So I worked with that and here, I wanna show some of the cool stuff. So you can tell all along the top here, you just, you have all the normal controls, you know, uh, gain, volume, bass, the EQ, uh, and now these effects, you actually have, I don't want to, I don't want to play with them because like I said, I got my settings exactly where I want them and I don't want to mess them up. But basically you can toggle between three different effects here on each of these and, uh, and you know, control the level. You have a tap tempo here for your delay. Nice. So you can get the exact delay that you need. And you can assign any combination of presets on this to all to these uh, tone channels here. So um, I just have a clean tone right now because that's all I have time to make. This last month I was sick and stuff and we're just focusing on the music itself. 
I only had time to make this really good clean tone. So I have that on channel two, and so I just use that. <laughs> That's all I use right now, and I doctor it up with whatever pedals I need to doctor it up with. Oh, well one cool thing is that somehow you can get actually uh, eight instead of just four tones here. I don't remember exactly how. One really cool thing is that on the back here, you have, you have this, is that it? Right here, I think. Basically, you have a, a foot switch that you can plug in and they make one that's like five or six buttons. And so you can just switch to those uh, presets that you make or download or whatever. You can switch to those just instantly. And so it's, it's nice to be able to just switch between all your different presets very easily. You can even plug in an expression pedal. And so I'm not sure, you're probably controlling one of these effects. So like, I don't know, <laughs> your booster or something. Uh, yeah, I've, there's so much that I just haven't even touched yet. And I've gotten pretty deep on it and it's like just the tip of the iceberg on this guy. So I'll be playing with this for probably the next year or so while I save up for a multi-effects processor. I didn't get a multi-effects processor, like even if I had all the money because I needed something that I could just show up to practice with, not have to plug into anything. Cause this thing just is the whole unit together. Very simple. And one other cool thing is this power control here or what would be on a tube amp and attenuator. This is just volume. It's just like three different volume presets basically. Uh, uh, uh. But it's really helpful to be able to quickly like, if I'm practicing, boom, 0.5 watts, I'm not bothering people. I'm, the thing is, so I've got this on the 50 watt setting. So like, I just keep it at that when we're practicing as a band. I never need to put it higher than that. Like it's crazy. So this thing is gonna be powerful enough for shows, no doubt. Because basically I just hit it up to the 100 watt and then it's show ready. Just like that. You can find in a lot of videos of people micing them on YouTube and uh, they sound great mic'd up too. Like these are, they're solid state, but they're real. This is a real amp. Yeah. <laughs> it's no so, joke. Yeah, we would uh, ISO it it's and cheap, mic it. It's cheap, it's solid state. It's a computer basically, but it's a real amp also. It actually sounds like a real amp. It sounds good. So this was a floor model. You can see dust on here. Uh, I don't care, <laughs> it works. You got phones or if you wanna call it like a direct out or recording out, you got aux in. Okay, so this is what's crazy is you got aux in and you also have USB and you have phones out. So basically when I am practicing at home, I have my laptop plugged in through the USB and I have my piano plugged in through the aux in. And so basically, and then this is coming out to my headphones. Sometimes I just send it out to the speakers in my house where I'm not actually practicing, but I've just practiced and everything's set up. Because basically this can work as like, a, almost like an interface, or like a, a mixer kind of. It's, it's interesting, just having this functionality here, you end up using it as like an interface, an audio interface kind of. With USB, I can control the amp, I can make all my presets, and I can record straight to the computer too. And it sounds decent because this thing is a computer. So it's kind of, it's one-to-one. -one. So it automatically will just sound good recording direct out. I am too ignorant to know. <laughs> I think this is so that you can actually send effects controls to this and then set presets with these. I don't know. It's, there's, there's more than I have to, to even need right now. Overnight, basically, I, I was the guitar player in my band. <laughs> I was playing keys. All of a sudden, overnight, I was playing guitar. Music.
your decision about it? You like it? You love it? You hate it? I love it. If you're basically looking for like the uh, uh, like cheap Honda Civic of amps, this is it. Because everything else out there is going to be kind of this weird in between. It's just not going to be quite what you need. This is exactly what I needed right now. Performing great. Um, I think for me, because we were coming from a tube amp, uh, for me, I had to spend that time to get, I'm also super particular and especially with my ears nowadays, since I've been playing music for a while, for a few years now, and I've been working in a music store, I've just been paying attention a lot more. And so my ears very much notice tiny little inconsistencies in tone. So, uh, it did take some working with, but that's, I was expecting that. Yeah. So if you, if, and even out of the box, it sounds great. Honestly, it sounds great out of the box. Yeah. I'm trying to think of anything bad to say or, uh, caveats. And really it's just, if you need something that really, really sounds legit, this is not it. Like if you need something, but you're spending at least like $800 at the very least $800 for something that's the next step above this. Why spend that money if you don't need it? You know, if you're not playing like stadiums or, or you're not gigging every single day, yeah. but you are gigging and you are practicing, you are playing and it's more of a hobby, but you're taking it seriously. Like this thing's freaking great. Maybe get the next model up, maybe get the bigger one. Cause they're the katanas, it's a whole series. So. All right. Well, thank you for watching. If you have any comments about it, make sure you put those down in the comments below. We're going to show you some more videos of gear we love right over here. Make sure you watch it. Yeah. And hopefully it stays over there. Sometimes they move it. No, it I, might be down there. No, nope. I get to decide where it goes and it's going to go right here until YouTube changes their protocol. Don't say that. <laughs>